Hi everyone, Charles here for MLNU Papers. I hope you're doing well. So if you're a new joiner on this channel, I give my take on the most recent and the most inspiring research papers that I come across in my research life in a hopefully nice and approachable way. I also share tips and advice for those who are interested in a career or studies in machine learning. Now, one of you asked me the other day, where do you find the research papers that you present on the channel and what are the legit sources to learn state-of-the-art machine learning? And I thought that it may interest many of you. So in today's video, I will answer this question and tell you all about the research papers that active professionals really check in their daily lives. As a non-exhaustive list of active professionals, I would include machine learning researchers, machine learning engineers, quantitative researchers in finance, data scientists, or software engineers, to name a few. So if you're interested in one of those positions, then checking out the same resources as those professionals will definitely take you one step closer to that position that you're dreaming about. Now, before we jump into the core of the topic, if you too have questions that you would like answers for, please let me know in the comment section down below. I try to answer as many comments as possible, and if I feel that more people may be interested as well, I may even make a video like today. Also, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It really helps the channel and encourages me to produce more quality content for you. Let's jump in. Now, research papers are the main source of information for professionals. When you read a research paper, you will get to know an active area of machine learning with new results discovered by researchers and implemented by engineers every day, but also open questions for you to solve. So if the paper is recent, you will get to know the state-of-the-art results, whether it is the tightest theoretical bound or the algorithm which has the best empirical performance on this or that data set. Then your knowledge in machine learning will be up to date, contrary to books whose results may be the latest but back in 1998. This is especially true for the more applied areas of machine learning. So in practice, I've asked many of my friends and colleagues who are researchers and engineers, and it turned out that on average, researchers spend 40% of their time reading research papers, and engineers spend around 10%. Now, that does not seem so much, but again, think about professionals who work eight hours a day. That's close to one hour per day for an engineer, and more than three hours per day for a researcher. Now, where do we find those research papers? There are two sources, conferences and journals. Let's start with conferences. Conference papers. Machine learning, and more generally computer science, is the only field that I'm aware of where conferences are more highly regarded by most people than journals. This is because the process of submitting a research paper to a conference is much faster than for a journal, and that seems more adequate for a fast-evolving field like machine learning. Now, let me give you a list of the top conferences I usually check. As a disclaimer, those are only my personal preferences. Many people share the same preferences as me, but I really want to emphasize that it is not because a paper is submitted at a lower tier conference that it should not be worth anyone's attention. So on the top of my list, my two favorite conferences are COLT, the Conference on Learning Theory, and ALT, Algorithmic Learning Theory. They usually have very high quality papers with a strong emphasis on theory. When I read a paper from one of those conferences, I know that I'm going to learn something serious. Then, there are the four big mainstream conferences that everyone speaks about. The first one is AI Stats, which is on the more theoretical side, and I personally like it more than the next three, but that's really subjective. Then come ICML and EURIPS, which are hands down the most famous conferences in machine learning. Finally, we must mention iClear, which is equally prestigious as the previous three, but with a strong focus on deep learning. Next on our list, and considered as good conferences, but one step below the previous ones, you have UAI, AAAI, and IJCAI. Finally, if you're interested in a specific application of machine learning, you can check out the following great specialized conferences. For computer vision, there is CBPR, ICCV, and ECCV. For computer graphics, I've heard of ACMC Graph. For NLP, there is ACL. And for data mining, KDD is quite famous. Now, there are many others, but I'm not really familiar with them because I mainly check general conferences. Journal papers. Now, to be perfectly honest, I do not know many engineers who regularly check journal papers, and unfortunately, the same goes for many researchers. However, I have noticed that the situation is changing. More and more researchers choose to publish at journals because the process of submitting a research paper, albeit longer, is of higher quality. Besides, 
Journal papers usually have higher quality content and are more in-depth than conference papers. So even if Mr. Trendy Alligator tells you that journal papers are useless, read them, because that's where all the best researchers will be publishing in a few years. Now, what journals should we check? In machine learning, the most prestigious journals are JMLR, the Journal of Machine Learning Research, and Machine Learning. Yes, the name of the journal is Machine Learning. They didn't go too far to find this one. Then there is TMLR, the Transactions on Machine Learning Research, which is the little sister journal of JMLR, but with a faster reviewing process and which seems to be gaining popularity recently. And a final example of popular journal is Neural Networks. Then you should also check out the statistics journals, which contain really high quality works. Some of the most prestigious ones include the JRSSB, the Journal of Royal Statistics Series B, the Annals of Statistics, Bernoulli, or the Journal of the American Statistical Association, to name a few. How do we find our way in all this? All right, but now we have tons of research papers. That is a lot. Yeah, and that's why many people say that our field of machine learning is overcrowded. But then how do we find our way through all this? What papers should we check? So again, all the papers are of interest, but let's be honest. With more than 100,000 papers released every year in our field, no one can read even 1% of what comes out. So here's what I recommend, which is also what I do. I pick one of the conferences or journals that I listed earlier. Then I go through the list of accepted papers, read each title until I find one which sparks my curiosity. Then I browse through the content and see if the material corresponds to what I'm looking for. I personally like solid theory, so I would check if there are theorems or math formulas and proofs. If you like experiments, you can have a quick glance at whether they have plots, tables, and experiments in real-world data, for example. Then, if there is what you're looking for, you can check the abstract, and if you like it, then you should give it a try. As a final point of consideration, reading research papers takes time. If you really want to read a paper and understand the setting and the main result completely, it will probably take hours, and I'm not even counting the time that we need to learn the basics on the topic of a paper if we're not familiar with it. Now, if you want to save time in your research reading, there is one option. Watch the videos that I post on this YouTube channel, ML New Papers. On this YouTube channel, I present recent research papers in machine learning, and I introduce the background required to understand the topic. And all that within 10 minutes or so. I also share tips and advice for those of you who are interested in a career in machine learning or in studying machine learning like we did in this video. All right, everyone, that rounds out my video on the resources that machine learning professionals check out in their daily lives. Are you going to check them yourself too? Give it a try and tell me how it is for you in the comment section down below. I would love to hear how it goes. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of the next video. I'll upload new content every week, so stay tuned. Thank you again so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.